so hello viewers and welcome back to the channel everyone today i brought the topic from the gastrointestinal anatomy in this video we will discuss about epiploic foramen and its complete basic informations like location boundaries and its applied clinical aspects so without any further delay let's go through intro and start our topic Hello, Namaste, all our previous viewers. Welcome to my channel, Med Gossip SD. I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams, much as possible, and frequently asked exam-oriented questions of that related topic. So make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates. So let's begin. Epiploic foramen. We can call the epiploic foramen in three different ways. They are foramen of Winslow, editus, and opening of lesser sac. Number two, let's define this. Epiploic foramen is a vertical slit light opening through which the lesser sac communicates with the greater sac. Number three, we have location where it is situated. The epiploic foramen is located behind the right free margin, lesser omentum at the level of 12th thoracic vertebra. So, boundaries of epiploic foramen. The epiploic foramen are bounded in four different ways. They are anteriorly, posteriorly, superiorly and inferiorly. Now, the epiploic foramen are bounded anteriorly by three things. They are right free margin of lesser omentum containing portal vein, hepatic artery proper and common hepatic duct. Posteriorly, epiploic foramen are bounded by inferior vena cava or IVC, right suprarenal gland and 12th thoracic vertebra. It is bounded superiorly by caudate process of the liver, whereas inferiorly the epiploic foramen are bounded by first part of duodenum and the horizontal part of the hepatic artery. So, I have also mentioned the figure here so that we could understand the boundaries of the epiploic foramen more easily and more uh, clearly. Uh, here we have the epiploic foramen is uh, in the middle whereas the anterior, posterior, superior and inferior part are shown in the diagram. So now let's discuss about the clinical aspect of epiploic foramen. Uh, the clinical aspect is the passage of internal hernia into the lesser sac which takes place via the editors. So, we have come to the last part of the video that is the question asked in exam or test related to this topic. Some of the questions are Write down the short notes on epiploic foramen. Number two question may be asked as Write down the boundaries of epiploic foramen. And number three Name the clinical condition that can be caused in epiploic foramen. So, thank you for making me a part of your day. Like the video if you did and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already and get the upcoming medical videos when we upload it. And yes, if you are new to this channel, I made the video of pharmacology and pathology too. So, please don't forget to check out my playlist once by visiting my channel and enjoy the remaining videos. Suggestion is highly appreciated. Till then, signing off, Med Gossip SD.